It's drop you late. Girl, you want to be in heaven You do nothing to end my life The way that I know The way that I do Yes? What's poppin'? Hold on, let me put my brightness up, man Because I can't see Shields, Neelys Yeah, baby yeah, baby. What's really good? American Lynx was popping. Roscoe James broke so don't ask. Rome Far Rock was populating. What's really good? Yes. Type brisky out here, but it's nice out here. You heard? The Ville Chung was popping. Whip Wop was popping. Was popping. Yeah, man. You know. I'm having my morning cup of coffee. You know, I always, I always kind of ish on Burger King coffee, but what I realize is Burger King coffee is not all of that bad. It's just that Burger King on Delancey Street where that dude was swinging that ax at, they coffee is trash. Cause every time I get a cup of coffee from them, that shit is Aquaman watery. You heard? So yeah, man. This Burger King coffee ain't so bad right now, I must say. I must say. George L was really good. Yeah, man. People looking at me like I'm crazy because I got my phone. I got my phone in a tree. So to, <laughs> to the naked eye, it looks like I'm just standing here talking to a tree. You heard? Motherfuckers mind they business, they be all right though. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Just be a daughter's was bopping. Kenny back was really good. DC in the building. Shout out my nigga Var P and the whole DC you already snow. Yersk. Rob Matthew was popping. David Ramsey, Chicago was populating. Kevin Davis was really good. Yeah, man. War games was populated. Yeah, I got a new episode dropping at 11 o'clock, though. Fire. I'm letting y'all know. I'm giving y'all warning now. This is going to be a four-parter. You heard? So y'all got to hold y'all head, and I'm going to try to drop every one of them back to back. I'm going to try. But it's all about what gets approved by YouTube. But this is a four-part movie I'm breaking down into four parts, around a half hour each. You heard? Because it's too much information, so you got to get it part by part. But it's ugly. It's ugly. It's ugly, baby. It's ugly, baby. Shout out to the bro Peter Pan, Riverdale, Brownsville. Shout out to the whole North Carolina. If you in North Carolina, I'm going to need y'all to leave about 10 comments each. You heard? Shout out to the bro Big Dice. I know you in NC. Yes. Yeah, man. It's coffee getting type cold. Dwight Healy was popping. Malik Riches was really good. Grand finale was populating. Yes, sir, man. That new episode is dropping at 11 cash. I just came on here to chop it up with y'all. Hit this little slim blunt before it come out. You feel what I'm saying? 
Sunday, gang. Sunday is the best day for television, man. Everybody's in the crib, get ready to go back to work and school the next day. Niggas is catching up on their shows, you feel what I'm saying? So I drop on Sunday something heavy. You heard? Let them niggas on real network television know y'all got some problems over here. You heard? That's a fact. Sam C was populating. Shout out to the bro Eborn. I shout out. I was hollering at the bro Eborn a couple of days ago. Was that yesterday? I think that was yesterday. But shout out to the bro Eborn. You heard we going back in. <coughs> now I mean. See, with this channel, once you make your bones, once you get initiated on this channel, you never know when a dude is going to pop back up with another blazer, bro. You heard? You might not heard from a dude in a couple of months, then he pop back up with a new blazer. You feel what I'm saying? Shout out to my bro, Shug. Man, I got to get up with my bro, Shug, do a new story with my bro, Shug, too. Yes, sir. Smoking that good Barty right now. That good purple. That's why when I, I gotta sit down with a grower, man. I need to get I need to get to familiar with a real grower so I can let them taste this type of shit and then give them my idea of what type of weed I need for my own strand. Cause this shit gotta be purpley. <coughs> and it gotta be harsh. Some harsh purple. You feel what I'm saying? That's what I'm into, man. Harsh, hard to cr hard. Harsh, crunchy, shout out to the bros on Sherman. I had some shit the other day, and from Dykeman on Sherman, I had some shit the other day called Crispy. You heard? That shit is right, crispy. That's the type of shit I'm talking about. Like, I need that bud that's hard and crunchy, but purpley and strong. Not too hard, where shit cutting your fingertips and all of that, but you know, nice and, nice and hard to break up, and purpley and harsh. Know what I mean? So this YouTube storytelling, this shit is only the beginning of things, bro. Because eventually, I'm going to bump into that grower, that licensed grower and distributor. And it's a wrap, bro. I'm going to come out with that Slim Blunt gang, the strand, and it's on, my nigga. And I'm going to make sure that shit is some fire. And this YouTube money gonna look like crumbs compared to that motherfucking strand money, nigga. You heard? So my mind is focused on bigger and better things. You heard? That's a fact. I don't really fuck with too many blocks with the weed shit no more, bro. I fuck with Sherm. I fuck with Sherman. And I fuck with Elwood. That's it. You understand what I'm saying? I'm good. I don't fuck with I don't fuck with none none of these other blocks really too much. Aside from that, I fuck with the peoples, you feel me? But I don't be running up on all these blocks. Some of these blocks be Casey, man, you heard? Some of these blocks too Casey. Gotta go to blocks where niggas move move professionally. Yes. But yeah, man. I mean, I've had gumbo. I don't know if it was the real gumbo, though. You know what I mean? Niggas be out here with the fake gumbo and all of that. So I don't know. I don't know. You know what I mean? Then when gumbo first came out, shit was too expensive. I'm like, I ain't got it. You know what I mean? Niggas only had like hundreds of that shit or something like that. I'm like, uh, yeah. You know what I mean? But I smoked some of that shit, but I need the real gumbo. I need that real gumbo. Yurt. But yeah, man, I need my. I gotta come out with that Slim Blunt gang and that Slaw. I'm gonna have three different strands, man. I'm gonna come out with that Slim Blunt gang, that Slaw, and that Gen Pop. That Gen Pop gang, nigga. All legal shit, nigga. Yurt. Some perp, some green, and some in-between. You heard? 
That's that's the that's the formula. Three good strands: some perp, some green, and some in between. Real facts. YMF Link was popping. Alexander Garcia was really good. South Ward Brazy was populating. Randall Henshaw was popping. Dusty Trend was really good. Tony OG was really. Yeah, bros. That new app is dropping at 11 cash, though. You know what I mean? I'm gonna have to take this off the tree, man, cause I gotta get to, I gotta get the moving around. I gotta get the moving around and keep it moving, keep it moving along. Yo, if you got a business, a channel, a song, a video, a clothing brand, or anything like that you're trying to promote, and you're not promoting it on my channel, you kind of bugged out. You understand what I'm saying? You kind of bugged out, my nigga. That's a fact. And when and when somebody pays me for promotion. I don't just throw that promo on any episode. I try to throw that on the biggest episode that I got dropping for the week. You feel what I'm saying? So you can make, so I can guarantee to give you twice what you expected. When you when you a good businessman, you try to give your customers twice what they expected. So not only can they not complain, they gotta spread the word like, yo, I ain't gonna lie, nigga. I hit that nigga with this. And my shit got seen by 20 month, 20,000 motherfuckers in two days. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you gotta have that word of mouth out there. Serious, my nigga. What the fuck is this? Some weird shit out here, man. Word the mother. But yeah, man, Abdul Shakur was popping. Aunt B was really good. Yeah, man, you know you always got some niggas. There's always going to be some niggas with a homeless shelter shirt hating. Niggas' shirts be so big, that shit might as well be, the city might as well pay you for to be a homeless shelter. Like 20, 30 niggas could live under that big shit. There's always going to be some big, long 90X niggas on here, man. It's part of the game, man. If you want to be successful on YouTube, you're going to have to tolerate a couple of 90Xs, you heard? <laughs> nah, man. I wish everybody luck, though, with this shit, because it's a rough game. It's a rough game, baby. You know what I mean? But yeah, man. It's getting cold, man. You know, I'm trying not to be the nigga that busts out with a bubble first. Cause you know they be saying New York niggas as soon as that first cool breeze come through, niggas pop out with the big bubble, you heard? I ain't gonna lie, I went outside with a with a light bubble on the other day. It was too little cold. I said, nah, I gotta throw the light bulb on, you heard? But the way it's feeling out here, nigga, this how you get sick though. When you be trying to fight the fight the fall, like, nah, nigga, it's still a little bit summer. Yeah, alright. Right now I got this thin ass little jack, this little hoodie on. This shit ain't getting it, nigga. I'm gonna keep it real with you. I say I go through this every year. I be like, yo, I need a lever. I need a good lever for the fall time before it turn winter. Then I never get the shit and it turn winter. You heard? But I might have to cop up, man. You know what I mean? Slide down to Delancey or something. You heard? Cop, cop me up a regular ass lever. Regular. I had a crazy ass lever that I caught from Delancey one time. See, niggas don't know like. Some of them lever spots around Delancey, not on Delancey, but around Delancey, you slide up in them shits, my nigga, you will find a gem. There will be a gem amongst amongst all of them shits that if you if you search carefully, you will find a good gem. Man, I found some crazy shit in one of them shits before, nigga. I found some crazy shit. Brown shit. I wore this shit in a video called I can't take it. Put in St. Laz, I can't take it with my nigga from France, Sultano. We filmed that shit in uh, Baruch Projects, Lower East Side. Now I mean? I had on wild leather that I caught from Delancey. You heard? That shit was crazy. I fucked that leather up. I let that shit get caught in the rain. That shit was never the same after that. You feel what I'm saying? 
But that shit, that level, I caught that shit from around the Lancey Brown level shit. That shit was fitting tight. I was rocking a tight level shit before tightness started coming back in. I was like, fuck that. I'm rocking this shit on some tight motorcycle niggas type shit. You heard brown shit, nigga. Niggas used to be stopping me in the street every day. Yo, that level crazy, bro. Like, yo, good looking, nigga. You heard? Hold it. But it's like, yo, on some G shit, though, I got to get another one of them fly-ass levers, though. You know, then I had a couple of them Casey-ass hood levers. You heard? You know them levers? Them shits be all red, all green. I had a couple of them Casey shits, too. Like, you know what I mean? Nigga right walking around the hood with an all green leather jacket. Shit looking dumb, Casey. Then you had them, them Casey ass Scarface joints with the Prince of Scarface on the back and all of them. Them shits was Casey. When I say Casey, that means looking like somebody about to go to jail. We always say that in PF, Pottersville. But we see niggas, we be like this. This nigga over here looking Casey, man. That mean the nigga is looking like he about to catch a case, man. You heard? So some clothes. Some clothes is just Casey, man. If you see a nigga with certain type, certain garments on, he a Casey ass nigga. Call them niggas Casey Andrews, man. Casey Kate. You heard? Heard the mother. What's that broad? Casey with the kids? Shit too windy to light the hello. You heard? Nah, my shit had the green, I had the bright green shit looking like Christmas, looking like an elf, you heard? Looking like a tall elf. One time I left that shit on the motherfucking radiator, I left my jacket like a part of the sleeve was laying on the radiator, nigga. That shit melted like a motherfucking crayon. I said, nigga, what the fuck? What the fuck type of lever is this, Delancey? Nigga, I said, yo, what's this green, green crayon shit on the floor? Nigga, that shit was my sleeve. That shit was my green sleeve. I said, oh, shit. This shit melting like a good crayon. See, when you young as shit, you don't know nothing about Lev. You be thinking butter soft Lev is exclusive. Like, they be hitting you with that. Like, yo, these, I got the butter soft joints over here. You be like, oh, word, the butter soft joints? Nah, son, butter soft Lev is cheap, my nigga. It's cheap and it's not durable. You understand what I'm saying? But that strong, that serious level, that shit different. So, you know, I done copped up a couple of them butter softs, thinking that them shits was fresh. Yeah, nigga, you see my shit butter soft, nigga. Feel the shit, nigga. Little did I know, nigga, that shit cheap as a bitch. That shit will melt like a crayon on your ass, you heard? I'm just looking for a place I could light this L without the wind blowing the whole, my whole life away. Yes, sir. Postman 617, what's really good? Charles was, what's really? Murphy Law Media was popping. Life through galleries was really hood. Ed B was popping. But yeah, man. Definitely got to get me a good lever, though, man. Regular ass grown man lever. Black one and a brown one. You heard? <laughs> Nah, I don't, I'm good with the genuine level. You heard? Or you talking about real level? Genuine is real because you know niggas got my head fucked up with that genuine, man. You heard? Nigga, genuine out there doing some crazy shit. Niggas starting a campaign called Genuine Must Be Stopped. You feel what I'm saying? Because my son is out there doing all type of moves that's 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 not not I mean authorized by the dance association you heard that nigga doing all type of dance moves unauthorized dance moves that need to be regulated you heard the dance police got to come check the nigga genuine tell nigga listen brother listen 
you know we all was a fan <laughs> you used to could dance your ass off my brother but this is 2022 them bones are stiff baby them bones is a little stiff genuine you heard we love you though we love you my nigga but them bones stiffer as a motherfucker right now and you know once you hit 50 i don't care who you are i'm happy i got a slim head because once you hit 50 your head expands and turns into like a square block. That's every nigga. I don't give a fuck who you are. You can't run from it. Once you hit 50, that head is turning into a square block, nigga. So Genuine, I think he still got that slim head. But that shit is blocky, you heard? That shit is blocky Balboa. So when that nigga be doing them dances, he be trying to do the slim head moves. Nah, son. That shit be looking like that house. <laughs> that shit be looking like that house. When the Wizard of Oz that got caught up in the, in the storm that was flying in, flying in the air, nigga. This shit be blocky. You heard them bones? Them bones ain't flexy like that the way they used to be, my lord. You heard? So, you know, I'm going to have to put the Gap Gang on this, on this, had to hit up the nigga straight hand. You heard? Because, you know what I mean? We all headed to the block, the Blockhead Gang Committee. Once I hit 50, I'm repping that blockhead gang, you heard? Unify these gangs. Gap gang and the blockhead gang. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to get genuine right, baby. Works, my son out there looking like a motherfucking. <laughs> Let me stop fucking with my son wine. Let me stop fucking with my son wine, man. But I'm just letting niggas know, nigga, when you hit that 5-0, nigga, that head is blocky Balboa, nigga. So when you start doing your dance moves, make sure you in the mirror practicing those first. Because everything look different when that head get blocky, baby. Blocky Balboa out this bitch. Yeah, man. That's all I'm saying. Kasi, what's pop? It's Cypress Projects in the building. Excuse me if I look like I just woke up and shit, because I kind of like, yo, I slept for like 13 hours. Word to my mother, nigga. I was trying to watch that Jeffrey Dahmer shit. I fell asleep on that shit like three times already. I was trying to watch that Jeffrey Dahmer shit. Fell out like six o'clock, nigga. Word to my mother, slept to 7.30. You heard? Slept to 7.30, nigga. Got all that good sleep. That sleep is priceless, nigga. You heard? Now I'm back in action. Let me see what time it is, man. Damn, nigga, we still got a whole 32 minutes. I feel like motherfucking Jay Leno. Jay Leno only got to do this shit for 10 minutes, nigga. I got to do this shit for an hour. With no material. You heard I just come on live with no material. Go off the top of the wig piece. Shit should be should be long sometimes. But yeah, man. Louis V in the building was populating. Word the mother. Word, son. James kills. My son motherfucking, my son Juan, man. My son Juan. And then the broads, man. Y'all broads, man. Y'all broads must be stopped, man. Because y'all broads be at them concerts. Y'all be edging that nigga on. Them chicks be like, yeah. Like that little move he did where he lifted up off the seat right quick. Son, that shit was dumb. Son, son lifted up off the seat like, he lifted up off the seat like three inches, my nigga. Chicks like this, ah, ah. Y'all amping that nigga, bro. Y'all amping that nigga in his head. That nigga did some gymnastic shit. That nigga legs was up in the air, suspended in, 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 suspended in animation. Nah, but in reality, son, that shit, that nigga lifted up like three inches, son. And them chicks was in there like this, oh my god. You heard? So. It ain't, it ain't the nigga Juan fault, man. It's these chicks. They amping this nigga out here, man. You heard? 
They got the clamps and the amps on the nigga Juan. That's a fact. Who coming on this next episode of Spin in the Yard, man? You heard? One of y'all New York niggas that's still in New York, pull up on me, man. You heard? So we get this episode of Spin in the Yard in. You feel what I'm saying? Let me tell you something. I just walked past the bench. You know what I mean? Homeless niggas sleeping on the bench. You know what I mean? Got a plastic thing over the bench. I'm trying to keep keep some of the cold out. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that homeless shit, my nigga. Like, let me tell you something. Let me say this. I'm going to say it again. If you never seen that movie, John Leguizamo, where God left his shoes, Make sure you watch that around the holiday season with your kids and your family. You heard? You know how you might want to sit around the holiday season and cuddle up with a good movie with your family? Make sure you watch that movie, bro. John Leguizamo, where God left his shoes, my nigga. Watch that shit right there. I don't want to spoil you nothing. I just want you. It's one of the hardest movies. I don't see that shit on no platform. So you might have to just go on Amazon and buy that shit. Amazon Prime video and just buy it. But I'm telling you, my nigga, watch that movie with your family. That should have changed your whole lives watching that shit together. Real talk. And you'll never look at a homeless person the same again. Brooklyn Legend Fruit Corn in the building was really good. Teflon was really hood. Fashion Junkie was proper. Codename Mosh was proper. Yeah, bros. Yeah, that new episode is dropping at 11 o'clock, though, man. Shout out to bro Peter Pan, Riverdale Projects, Brownsville. You feel what I'm saying? Shout out to the whole North Carolina. This, 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 this new series is called, um, Peter Pan surviving North Carolina. Shit is fire. You feel what I'm saying? It's going to probably be a four or five parter. You understand? So I want y'all to tune in because the shit is crazy and it's a message in the madness of it. You understand what I'm saying? We putting out that heat, my niggas. We putting out that straight heat. Yeah, man, that new episode dropping at 11 o'clock. We got about 16, 17 minutes to that it pops off. You feel me? The Slim Blunt already got me twisted, so I ain't trying to really get too much twisted. You heard? It's getting tight brisky out this bitch. For real, for real. Shit getting brisk iced tea out here. It's not a game. You're going to see me with the big black bubble on again in about two weeks a week big back the big black bub is gonna be back nigga straight straight up yo bro i got a million lessons videos that i could do but i'm gonna keep it real with you my nigga you know what i mean i was doing a lot of a lot of arguing and debating with people. To this day, I'm still debating with people from just dropping a little three or four episodes about the lessons right now, my dude. Like, all type of infiltrators was, niggas was coming into my mess, trying to come be my friend just to debate with me about the lessons. You heard? After we done became friends, niggas said, by the way, one day you said something about the black man being God. You heard? And of course, it was nothing but black motherfuckers attacking me. So, you know, I kind of got tired of arguing with dudes, you feel me? So, let that marinate for a little while. But, um, you know, at, at, any, at, at any given moment, I might just go into a tirade and a rant about 5% teachings, you heard? So, just beware. I might just tweak out one day. 
know what I mean? But nah, nah, I got some, I'm, I'm gonna get back at some shit, man. I'm gonna get back at some shit. A lot of people ain't see the episode I put out um, called The Worst Thing That Could Happen. Look that episode up, know what I mean? It's called The Worst Thing That Could Happen. And that episode is about my enlightenment that gave me knowledge of self, you feel me? It's about him. I, I don't want to ruin the episode, but, you know, watch the episode. Shit crazy. When you watch that episode, you understand a lot of shit. You understand what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, it's deep. A lot of dudes ain't watch that shit like that. You know what I mean? I forgot about that episode myself. But, yeah, man. I got some shit though. I got some shit. I'm about to do some shit um in this month. Later on this month, I'm about to start filming my real life story. You feel what I'm saying? Like kids with guns for real. You know, kids with guns is spun off into a series, but that's the name of my that's the name of my basically my movie. So I'm about to do the documentary on my shit. So, you know, you got to get that money twice, my nigga. Like, you got to do the documentary on your life. Then you got to do the movie. You feel what I'm saying? Do that documentary first. Get your money. You feel what I'm saying? But I'm going to do that documentary. And I'm going to write that script. You know, I'm starting to get into script writing, man. You heard? I'm starting to get into script writing. I'm starting to realize that it ain't nothing more than dedicating a certain amount of time each day to getting it in, you feel what I'm saying? And I'm writing two scripts right now. I'm writing two scripts right now and I'm just taking my time. I ain't trying to rush them shits. But if I get my hands on some money, I am going to lock the fuck in with these scripts and I'm going to pop out with two whole scripts done. One comedy and one drama. And when I tell you both of them shits is a winner, they winners, bro. You heard? I'm a writer. I, I write. You heard? It's just a lot of work. But you know what else I'm going to do? I meant to tell us, tell us to fruit corn too. Yo, you know what I'm about to do though, bro? I'm about to just bite the bullet and pay for the most advanced dictating software they got so that I ain't got to sit down and write none of this shit. I could just dictate that shit to the computer and the computer will write that shit out. You feel what I'm saying? That's what I'm gonna do. Like shit, I forgot what the shit is called. Dragon something. There's a few of them shits, but but some of them shits is so sophisticated. They capture it captures everything perfectly. So all you gotta do is sit there and speak that shit. You understand what I'm saying? And that shit writes it out. And I'm about to invest in that shit because I need to. I need to. I can't write this as fast as I could. As as fast as I could spew it. You feel me? Lil Casgro was popping. Elijah 3 was really popping. Hey, like I told y'all, man, I got I got like 26 chapters to an audio book already done. But then I started telling the stories out the audio book. So now I'm just about to do the documentary. And it's about to get, it's going to get ugly. This shit is going to be the greatest shit that I ever filmed. You understand what I'm saying? Like, this shit going to be crazy, nigga. This shit gonna be crazy. Watch. You know what I mean? Watch. Heard the mother. But yeah, that documentary, that's gonna be big. A documentary about my life, kids with guns, how I caught my case in vivid detail. Telling I'm I'm giving everything up. You understand what I'm saying? Everything. Niggas vivid detail. You feel me? How I caught my case, went to jail, what led up to me catching my motherfucking case. You know what I mean? What I was doing, my family history, my mother history, everything, nigga. Because it gets ugly. It gets ugly. I'm telling you. It gets ugly. But yeah, it's going down, my nigga. It's going down. I'm going to tell it all. We're going we gonna to go into it. You feel me? Talk about how I grew up with a with a major crack spot on the same floor, two doors down from my door, you feel me? One of the most major crack spots in, in my projects, that shit was on my floor, you feel what I'm saying? 
You heard? So when I start talking about how niggas used to be hitting that shit up with a 4-4 bulldog at 4 in the morning, the nigga got to get up at school and go to school at, get up at 7. At 4, niggas, niggas shooting the door up. We're going to go into these things. You feel what I'm saying? We're going to go into these things. We're going to talk about the 80s in Brownsville. We're going to talk about the 80s in Brooklyn. Period. You feel what I'm saying? But I'm going to let you know, bro. This shit called kids with guns. I'm going to set a fucking precedent when I do this shit, my nigga. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get crazy, bro. You going to see? I'm going to get stupid. I'm going to get stupid on that documentary, nigga. Put my drawers, nigga. Put my fruit of the looms. My BVDs and my fruit of the looms going up in that shit, nigga. Yursk. Eve was populating. See you in the building. Jason Simpson was really good. Seven Souls was populating. You were a snow bunny. You heard? That new episode is dropping in nine minutes, man. You know what I mean? Y'all gonna love this new episode dropping. It's crazy. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. You feel me? This episode is 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 it's underlining meaning. This episode is, you know what I mean? We we dealing with the we dealing with the, with, the, with the psyche of of human beings, man, and how how sometimes niggas just snap. You hear about people out there they they just snap, and you be like, damn, why the fuck they did some crazy shit like that? They risked lives or they took lives or they did this snapping, but you know. Sometimes we got to find out what led up to a motherfucker snapping. You feel what I'm saying? And that's what this episode is about. You know what I mean? Pressure. Life pressure, nigga. Regular life's pressure, nigga. You know what? Let me tell y'all niggas something before I get up out of here. Real talk. You know, I don't be trying to act like I'm holier than thou and none of that. Because I'm a regular nigga like everybody else with the same stress problems and anything like everybody else. But every once in a while, I forget this one thing, my nigga. And I remember it, and I feel stupid. When life get out of control, and I be feeling like, yo, shit out of control, man. Like, I ain't got no control over this shit. Like, anything could happen at any time. I could drop dead, or this could happen. I could get shot, or my moms could die, or you just feel out of control. I forget this one thing that a nigga is supposed to do, bro. And that's fucking meditate, bro. Sometimes you got to stop everything that you're doing and put in about a good half hour of straight meditation. No phone, no TV, no nothing. Your motherfucking thoughts in your mind. And you got to quiet everything around you and think for a little while. You feel what I'm saying? Like today I tried to go in the bathroom, my phone, my shit died. I see him grab my computer. Shit was dead. I said, man, damn. I said, you know what? Everything happens for a reason. Meditation. Shower is the shit too. That hot shower water, the energy from that hot water on your meditation, that shit do something. You feel what I'm saying? Like I remember my bro was a Muslim up north. My my bro Musa, the one that was a crackhead that, I mean, that schooled me to life. You feel what I'm saying? That nigga used to always tell me, like, yo, the angels ain't gonna bless you if you if you dirty, bro. He said, when, when your angels ain't gonna ain't gonna bless you if you if if you around filth or anything. You know what I mean? Make sure you when you pray, when you meditate, you pray, you clean as a motherfucker. So when you get in that shower and you put that meditation work in in that shower, that shit be different, my nigga. That shit be different. You feel what I'm saying? But um yeah, man, that meditation. Sometimes you got to call a friend and tell a friend that. Like, yo, man, make sure you meditate, bro. Like the lessons say, you know what I mean? And the, and the Bible say, Bible was lessons too. All these books, the Quran, all these just got lessons in it. You know what I mean? No matter what culture they came from, every race of human have, it has a percentage of their race that strived for and strive to reach enlightenment. In any race, culture, or creed you find on this planet, from the from from the motherfucking Romans to the motherfucking Indians to the whoever you wanted to whoever research, everybody tried to reach enlightenment, my nigga. It's always it's always gonna be a percentage of motherfuckers who tried to reach enlightenment and a higher spirituality on this planet. 
You feel what I'm saying? No matter where you check, no matter what book, no matter what religion, you're gonna find people that was striving for the higher self. You feel what I'm saying? So sometimes we gotta motherfucking stop what we doing and just tap into the quiet. You gotta quiet this whole world down, my nigga, and, and concentrate on what it is that you truly need to be happy. Whether that shit is health, money, you understand what I'm saying? Peace of mind, nigga gotta meditate towards it, bro. Know what I mean? Word the mother. In the Bible, like one of my, my, my favorite songs where it says, um, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the, <coughs> seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in that law does he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but like the shaft that the wind driveth away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Amen. Ra. You heard? That's how you end that. But yo, let me tell you some ill shit, right? That psalm is deep. For he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. You heard? Not only should, not only should you have whatever you want to have, but you will be by the source of it. You will be right next to the source of that shit. The rivers of water. Your roots will run into the river. Well, you ain't never got to worry about it raining or nothing. You heard? Your roots is in the river, bro. That's the science behind that. But the main thing they say in that psalm is, and in this law, does he meditate? The Bible telling you, in this law, does he meditate day and night? You feel what I'm saying? So that meditation is a must, my nigga. And that's a fact. That Bible is black history for a fact. That Bible originated the first five books of Moses. That shit originated in Ethiopia. That's a fact. So I be laughing when niggas be like, yo, that's the white man's or that's the devil's or... Bro, listen, my nigga, the first five books of Moses, that shit originated in Ethiopia. You heard? Do your research. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? Like I said, man, every race, color, creed in the world, everybody done searched for enlightenment and tried to reach enlightenment, my nigga. White, black, green. You understand what I'm saying? When I say green, I'm talking about the olive-skinned people. Do your history on the olive-skinned people, see? You know what I mean? A lot of niggas don't know, man. You know what I mean? You got to read this book called The Ancient Mysteries of Mel Chesildek where they speak about, you know what I mean? They speak about the motherfucking man is an electromagnetic plant. You know, we look, we think we animals, but really we electromagnetic plant. But I ain't going to twist y'all brains out right quick three minutes before the premiere. You understand what I'm saying? But when um, iron is replaced, when magnesium is replaced by iron, you know, you go from green to brown. So there's a history of a very olive skinned people in, in Egypt. If you do the research and if you look at some of the, 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 the deities drawn on the walls in Egypt, some of them skin was green. You understand what I'm saying? Because we're dealing with the science of man realizing that you could live as long as a tree lives, bro. You heard? Just got to get in tune with that plant kingdom and not that animal kingdom. You feel what I'm saying? But we ain't going to get crazy. You heard? But anyway, Mr. Miller was populating. Elijah was really good. TM was popping. Sexy Eden shouting you out again was really good. But yeah, my G's, that new episode is premiering in one minute. You feel what I'm saying? And um, like I said, it's going to be like a four or five part series. So strap up, pause, and get ready for a ride. Stainless Poverty was really good. Derek Thomas was really popping. I see y'all in the building. Yes, sir. But yeah, man, yeah. And I mean, um... I got a bunch of new fire dropping this week. Bunch of, bunch of new fire. I got to sit my ass down and put some editing work in because I got some movies dropping. And this is the first one right here. You heard? Yeah, you know, I'll be trying to build on here, man. I don't be wanting to, you know, 
I don't be wanting to talk too much religious beliefs and stuff like that because I try to avoid religion and politics because, you know, you could lose a, you could lose a friend talking religion and politics. So I, tr I try not to sh shove my beliefs down nobody's shit. You feel what I'm saying? Pause. But like, yo, it's, 10, um, it's 11 o'clock, man. I'm sliding over to that premiere. My bro, Trub. Shout out to my bro, Trub from Marcy. Shout out to Big Slop, Little Slop. Shout out to the bro, Saquon, Fuquan. Shout out to the peoples, man. You heard? Kasim was popping. We got to get that Tupac episode in. I'm sliding over to the premiere. I'll meet you over there. You heard? That rundown. I see you in the building. We're going to talk about these things. Meet me over at the premiere, though.